Oh my god. Ah, pull up, pull up, pull up. Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video. Today, we are back in the great land of New Zealand. You know, in New Zealand, you can find some very interesting airports. We've already had Milford Sound Airport, for example, on the channel. But today, we're going to talk about another interesting one, and that's this one. It's a runway literally on a mountain. Great. Uh, this is actually an airport indeed. Normally, we would see an airport like this maybe in the Nepalese mountains, maybe Lukla or something, or Fablu Airport. We've had some interesting ones indeed in Nepal. But no, this is actually New Zealand. And I'm actually just kidding because this airport does not exist in real life. <laughs> yep, this is a fictional airport here to be downloaded on this flightsim.to website and uh, it was created by this Fury guy. And he's already known for some interesting additions here to the flow. Look at this airport. Holy moly. But today we are with this one and it um, <clears throat> looks interesting enough for this video, right? Now, this airport, which is by the way named Spectre. <laughs> That was a Siri. Yeah, whatever. This airport is called Spectre Peak, and it's got a 4,000 foot long runway, which is, um, 1,200 meters, which is not particularly long, especially considering the elevation of this airfield. Yes, this airport is actually 5,300 foot high, which is quite an elevation indeed. But the thing is, this 1,200 meter long runway is, of course, still much longer than any of the Luklas or Courchevels or whatever mountain airport ports we've talked about before 1200 meters is actually quite doable the surface here on this mountain which does actually exist in real life probably this uh, guy online found this interesting spot on google maps or something and thought hmm why not place a runway on here that actually works quite well this is uh, quite a proper interesting airport let's go ahead and take off this bande rante embraer <clears throat> out of here come on this is uh, quite a tough turboprop aircraft known for transporting people and drugs through the most dangerous airport on this planet let's go and take off Come on, there we go. That's gone quite well. But I do see quite a bit of a performance drop here at this kind of altitude. Of course, the air is much thinner up here, so the aircraft has less air to work with. You know, both engine and wing. And so that's on that one. What we really don't want to do is kind of overrun. Yep, falling down this cliff doesn't sound too fun, especially Pegasus Airlines shouldn't fly here at all. That's something we can already say. Pegasus is not allowed in. <laughs> So dumb, but yeah. All right then, though. We uh, were able to take off this plane quite well. So let's just go ahead and try some bigger planes here. Maybe make this an international airport here in New Zealand. Yeah, you know what? I do actually want to try this one now. The McDonald's Douglas DC-6. How about that? Ah, what a lovely one this is. Especially here, this add-on. Absolutely beautiful. This is more than just a plane. This is art. What am I saying? Let's land this plane at this interesting runway down here. How about that? Okay, I tried doing a butter landing, <clears throat> which resulted in a very late landing too, but no worries for the DC-6, it can genuinely fly anywhere, so we don't really worry. Ah, beautiful. Yes, there's absolutely what we're looking for here on this channel. Hmm, absolutely nice. Let's move on. Yep, you know what? Let's uh, try some genuine jet airliner now. How about this ERJ-170 or 175? I'm not quite sure which one I chose in the menu, but that's another story. Yeah, this is also one of those interesting newer add-on aircraft for the flight simulator. This one is interesting indeed because it flies literally like the CJ-4. I think they just stole the physics model of the... Yeah, but whatever. Let's go ahead and land this plane. Although I do have to warn you guys, this landing will probably not be as smooth as the DC-6 landing because the ERJ-175 does actually need a runway. Duh. Okay. Oh damn, that's been a bit hard. Let's go ahead and stop. Come on. Full on the reverse thrust. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that has worked out. But I think we are already getting closer to the runway limits here, right? Even though I do think that there are some ERJ-175s that have landed on runways this short before. But uh, let's go ahead and move on, right? All right, then. Now, time for this Airbusy boy to give it a try. And yes, I still haven't downloaded any liveries for the flight simulator at all. Still the generic Airbus livery. Great. Let's get landed. One hundred fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. One hundred fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Touchdown. 
Come on. Oh, that's been a bit late. Let's go. Come on, land. Stop now. What am I saying? Mm, okay. A little bit close to the edge of the runway. You know, this has just been another one of those typical Airbus landings where the computer goes against you. Yeah, plane didn't really want to touch down. All right, let's see. Yeah. A normal landing, though. Somewhat doable. And we did stop, too. The important part, right? I do want to try landing from the other side, though. Maybe with a bigger plane? <laughs> it's not going to be smart. All right. <clears throat> 777 it is. This is actually a 300. This is a way bigger plane than the A320. This is actually quite stupid. All right, let's do this. All right, all right. But a runway is actually down here. You can see it on the left. Again, approaching from the other side. So overrunning will now lead us down the cliff. This is not going to go well, is it? All right. Oh, my God. Ah, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, maybe we should try the other side of the runway. All right, come on, 777. Let's do this. Okay. All right, that's actually not been that unsmooth. Okay, let's stop. Please stop. Stop, 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 stop. Give it all you got. Come on, 777. Yes? Yes? Oh, no, we're not stopping, are we? Oh, it's so close. Mm. Somewhat survivable, though. Come on. And also, landing smoothness-wise, it was actually quite good. Look, that was nice. Um, somewhat. Yeah, let's forget about the overrun. Hmm. But I do would like to overrun into this cliff at least once in this video. So let's just try to fly this and off 225 here. Great. All right. This is looking very nice. Very good. Yes, perfect. 100 knots. Yes. This plane is so damn slow now. Oh, wow. Is this going to be survivable, though? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe we can make this work. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. We can actually make use of this cliff here. So we can uh, gain some altitude and some speed. Perfect. That's actually gone pretty well. <laughs> yeah, nice. Actually, wait. Flying this valley down is probably a little bit tricky. Perfect. So, yeah, guys. That is this interesting airport in the middle of New Zealand. I don't know what the... I, 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 I don't know uh, quite the use of this airport but that's another story so yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow as always good night now thank you to my members here on youtube like block emite Mubarak, mike ethan darren stefan ian uh, oh man the human rafael brokowski junk in the trunk moritz uh, toby great grandpa john government pasta calamity airlines kelly chaos new york uh, tyler park cheese doritos shadow anime planes are one x-men show there the slama featuring kellen me by you captain cameron spiro uh, gary norwegian bajel and pyrology